Hi, my name is Donovan Keith, and in this video I'm going to show you how to render out a preview animation uh, known as a play blast uh, in the industry or a hardware preview uh, historically in Cinema 4D. And uh, this is a little MP4 video that you can then uh, send off to a client so they can review or to your art director uh, and it's just a quick way of testing your animation especially if you're getting less than stellar playback in your editor. So the very first step is to save your project file somewhere if you haven't yet and probably the easiest way to do that is to go to a file save project with assets and what that's going to do is collect all of your um, elements that you need and so I'm going to call this I don't know uh, flying balls and I'm just going to choose save and what that's going to do is it is going to collect uh, any of my textures any of those as uh, assets inside of this flying balls folder if I had any textures they would have been in a TEX folder okay so now I want to set this up to render um, generally before I I render I'll have just made some small changes so I'm going to do a save incremental so that those changes are reflected in my file name so now it's 001 and um, because that file name is constantly changing I want to set up my render settings so that uh, that value is always preserved so I'm going to go to my render settings and I'm going to go to the uh, save tab and in the save tab I'm going to type period forward slash so it says starting in the folder where this file is located I'm going to add a renders folder so r-e-n-d-e-r-s another forward slash underscore or, or excuse me dollar sign p-r-j and p-r-j stands for project and it's a render token which I can get right here by also choosing project name it'll do the same thing and then forward slash p-r-j so this is what I would do for my standard render setting um, in the output tab, I want to render an animation, right? So I have to change my frame range from the current frame to all frames. Now, after I've done that, um, I'm going to call this I don't know, maybe my final render setting. I'm going to add a new render setting under this that is specific for my, my preview. So I'm going to go to render setting, and I'm going to choose new child. And I'm going to call this um, preview and I'm going to click on preview so I know that this is what I'm editing and this is what I'm going to be rendering from and I'm going to change my renderer from standard uh, I think Camtasia my uh, screen recording software is making it a little hard to see this so I'm going to choose viewport renderer now and uh, my render settings have gotten a lot simpler so uh, I want to maintain my previous settings so I've got my all frames my final output resolution is there and in save uh, I'm now uh, going to rather than save this in uh, underscore or rather than a dollar sign PRJ I'm going to save it in dollar sign previews and I'm going to change my file format here from TIFF to MP4 and that's because uh, I just want to render out a, a a movie file that I can easily deliver. This is not what I would recommend for any of your final renders. For those, you definitely want to use individual image frames. And in the viewport render settings, what I'm going to do is choose copy effects from viewport. So all of my settings are the same. And then on the filter tab, I'm going to activate geometry only. And the effect that this is going to have is the same thing that it would have here in my viewport. If I went to filter and chose geometry only, it would get rid of all of the sort of cruft in my viewport, anything that's not absolutely essential. So now with the geometry only on in my viewport renderer, I'm now going to save this out. And uh, that's all looking good. So let's save the project again so that uh, those render settings are preserved with this file name. And now I'm going to click on the middle render to picture viewer button and what this is going to do is render out each and every one of those frames so now I can press play and preview my finished animation and if I want to see this file on my hard drive I can right click on that little folder icon and choose show file in Explorer finder and what you'll see is that it is landed in the renders folder and inside of renders there's a previews folder and inside of there I've got one named after my project file and here it is playing back as an mp4 
So there you go. That is uh, how you render a hardware preview in Cinema 4D. So once again, to review, you want to change your render settings to be all frames. You want to save. I'm using a specialized render path uh, with some render tokens. You want to make sure you've changed your format to MP4. And I like to make all of these modifications in a, a sub render setting so I can go back up here to final, tweak output resolution and things of that sort, and then just go back here to preview when I, I want to render out a preview. There you go.